Alright everybody, welcome back to Clock Tower. Now, we are in uh, Scenario 1, and we are Jennifer, so uh, we need to go talk to some people so that we can set up for a, uh, um, to progress the game. Uh, we'll also start off with the uh, first one here, newspaper. If I went to the newspaper offer, office, I would just be chased by reporters and scissor man. Uh, the hotel here, oh that's right! Edward is supposed to be here. Edward is the kid that survived. Quotation, survived the Clock Tower murders. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Boy? What if it's like a 56-year-old man, like uh, like the orphan? <laughs> Norway International Hotel. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer, the one who got away? <laughs> yes, I am, Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the uh, pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he... Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Oh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? How do you do? So Jennifer, if this if this is the Jennifer from the last game, then she um, was an orphan at the same uh, place. Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. I don't know about that. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please. Please visit. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. See ya. <laughs> I am sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Real soon. Bye-bye. Like, too soon. Uh, Mitch Brown, so now we're just going to the library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan is the head librarian. So we could have the sense the uh, statue sent here and then the scenario two would be in the library and not Rick's house. Which the library, at least when I played it that one time, it was a bitch. But uh, I'll probably make a video of scenario two so I can show both the house and the library. Hello Jennifer, did you come to check out a book or something? Mr. Zul Sullivan you're as cute as ever. How's Ellen? It's like, dude, can you even see your fucking toes? She's fine. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added uh, to my collection again. Do you want to come see my collections in my pants? It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, that's... Thank you. It, <laughs> it would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Let's get the fuck out of here, quick. Well, drop it for a visit anytime. <laughs> okay. University personnel housing. I live there with Helen. No one would be there if I went... No one would be there if I went home now, though. So, I will go see Helen. She's at the uh, university. She should still be in her lab. University research building. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in the in its usual place this time, you wit. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. So now we should be able to go home. Huh? Someone is in front of the house. That's fucked up. Oh, that's... Okay. University half staff housing. So it should be Nolan from the uh, paper company. Try and get an interview an interview with us.
You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on you or <laughs> on the Clock Tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, every little of the truth is very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. <laughs> hey, what do you say we have dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to uh, talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Oh, uh, well, uh, I can't think. That's it. Both. Yes, both. And an interview and a date. All right, then. Tee-hee. Let's go. Right now? Fuck yeah. No one's getting it. He's going to get it tonight. If Scissor Man don't get it. All right. Scenario one with Jennifer Simpson. It's very late. Someone seems to be following me. Like, that's fucked up. Can we click on that? Please, someone help me. Oh, fuck. I've never seen that before. <laughs> so she knows that somebody's following her. This isn't like paranoid fucking, ooh, is someone following me? Like, there is somebody following her. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? Help. Someone is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright. Get the fuck in there. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to get to the fucking bathroom. No. I don't know if I want to burn up this fucking bathroom right away. Come on, get in there, Jennifer. Fuck. Install, install, install. Okay. Alright, thank god. Alright. So this one works. I think you can use every bathroom once. Maybe twice. But I don't, I don't fucking remember. So uh, we gotta save. I need to get the uh, key. Okay. Prologue Barton. We'll copy that one. All right. So she needs two things to get out of here, which I don't know if we need to find any any specific items, but she needs the uh, key. Fuck. Okay, she needs the key to, uh, to use a ladder to get out of here. And I know if we take too long, like, fucking that guard's dead. There was a key on the table. What is this? Or what is this? You now have the ladder key, so... Fuck it, we'll look at him. Fuck it. Fuck it. God damn. Alright. This game is fucking creepy. Now I can go straight up the stairs and get out of here, but I think before... Actually, I wonder if he's in the fucking elevator. He'll be in... He is! I fucking knew it. All right, come on, Jennifer, get in here, get in here. Are you serious? Oh, it was a B or square? I don't remember the fucking controls. Oh fuck. All right, let's continue. We should, we should be continuing right where he um. He should be okay. All right. If you want to play it safe, we can uh. 
I wonder, I wonder if you go in the girls girls dorm because if you do Helen's you end up in the girls dorm. It does open. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay. No. It's locked. So that's straight up locked, so the ladder key ain't gonna work. Let's get the fuck out of this room, dude. With Helen, there's barbed wire on it. Okay, he will be in the lockers. I remember that from fucking back in the day. Alright, so we know he is in the elevator right now. Well, he could be anywhere at this point, but that could be a, a trigger. So I wonder if we can get the key for, uh, the key, uh, for the fucking storage room. No, don't use the elevator. Yeah, go in here. Actually, no, go in there. Oh, fuck, come on. If you don't hurry, he's gonna, he's gonna automatically come back. So here we can use the phone. I remember that. Maybe. Hello. You have reached Helen. Oh, we're calling Helen. The phone is dead. There are various documents on the table. A copy with the built in fax machine. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I mean, this game is fucking brilliant. I mean, there's a lot of fucking, like, horror movie sense, you know? Like, like, uh, the fax machine, uh, will start working. And it'll get, and it'll, it'll send you a message saying that he's gonna kill you and shit. Like, that's fucked up. Alright. I'm getting nervous right now. I'm gonna save. We're gonna save on a new slot just in case. Um, he comes, um, any second. Alright. It complete. Oh, fuck. Alright. I don't remember if it, if it was circle or square to fight back. Oh, we're in the thing. It's locked. I don't know if we can find his key or not. Best desk, there's stuffed animals in a spray can. A can of mace. Take that fucking shit. Why? Why can't I take it? This is why Jennifer fucking is gonna get fucking screwed. All right. It's down at the end here. See it? I thought you could use that. Mary Kunas. No one seems to be here. The door is locked. Alright, we got one more floor. Fuck, here he is. Fuck. Get in that fucking bathroom. Oh, fuck, come on. Oh, shit, you see that? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. This, oh, no, this must be an instant death. until that fucking music goes away. Oh, fuck. 
You see that down in the fucking corner there? Oh, fuck. Okay. We'll save here. Who the fuck is in here? The fuck? Oh shit, who the fuck is that? fuck out of here. So we had the ladder key, so we can head right out. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. We got one more floor. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, this game is fucking so underrated. Oh, that's fucking creepy as shit. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Elevator, elevator. Come on! <laughs> so fucked up. He's awesome. You know what? It's not as scary as it uh, was when he first fucking played it, but. Oh. A lot of really cool shit. No, uh, I'm just, um, I'm just gonna use the ladder and get the fuck out of here. We found someone dead, so I'm sure that will uh, cause for a bad, uh, a, 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 not a good ending. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck it, I don't want to see any more. I could imagine beating Jen Jennifer right now, walking through this fucking building. Here's our shit here. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. From way up here, is it safe? Who gives a fuck? You got a fucking killer on the loose in here. You can do it, Jennifer. Whew. Let me get the fuck out of there. Oh. Scenario one clear. That wasn't too bad. Now, uh, I have Scenario 2, I'm gonna try playing this, uh, yesterday when I was at a buddy's place, and, uh... What the fuck is going on? We haven't solved the- we haven't solved the last case yet, now... Another mass murder? And again, you're saying that the murder is a... Monster? But it's true. I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Man is back, baby. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now and rest. Why the fuck would I want to go home? We posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Yeah, because that security guard wasn't safe. Plus, the other one with his head chopped off. Thank you. The assistant inspector. Okay. So I can only talk to Helen. Jennifer. Helen, it's true. It was the scissor man. Look at that fucking... Fucking camel toe. <laughs> he is just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. 
Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yes. No. <laughs> So Jennifer, what should she do now? Um, police station. I will go see the inspector. Yeah, let's talk to this fucking dude. Police station. So we gotta send Nolan over to Rick's house. So if we do it the other way and go to right to the library, then once we finish the library, we're gonna get the same ending we got last time, but in Jennifer's in, because we did not find the statue. Because we're all looking for the statue. You are still here. Oh, you were still here. You should go home before it gets dark. Don't forget your key. Thanks for the fucking info. Okay. A hotel. I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissor Man. Norway International Hotel. I, <laughs> I know there is no one here. So they're not there, so where the fuck are they? Okay, I'm sure they're okay. There was no reason to go to the library. I'll bet my house is surrounded by reporters. I probably shouldn't go home for a while yet. I wonder if Helen, Helen is here. Alright, we're gonna go back to the place that we were just attacked. I don't think I could step foot back into that building. Especially the next day, after being fucking chased down by a serial killer. Helen is here. What a brave fucking bitch. Alright. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> you came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Uh, do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower? Murder? Yes. What about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Hmm. And Professor Barton was called away in some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the desk, or Professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Anyway, I'll go to the library and see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything related to Scissor Man. Yes. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer? Yes? Who is Nolan? Ha! <laughs> oh, well, I better get going now. <laughs> Jealous. So now we can go to the newspaper. I hope Nolan is there. I don't know if I don't know if we could have gone to the newspaper company before talking to Helen, but uh, I'm glad I didn't take that chance. So now we're at the newspaper company to see Nolan. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you. I missed the first part. The police didn't want to tell me s much, so I had a hard time finding you. Did I click anything in the room? Can we just go? No. So, it was the scissor man? Yes. I know it's hard to believe. I believe you. The police still think it was some nutcase. Is there anything I can do? Yes, you can go to Rick's house. Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he is involved in the clock tower. Case. I was just going to interview him. Nice. Really? He used to be the butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the uh, Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given... Uh, the statue, the statue to him. Duh. You mean the one that they found at the scene of the murders? <laughs> yes, I want every little cl uh, clue relating to this uh, case. Okay, should I go get the statue from him? 
Alright, I'll go see him and get it. Well... Do you want to ask Nolan? I don't know what happens if I say yes or no. What if I say no? Thank you for offering, but Helen is looking... Oh, shit, I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, no problem. God, I fucked up. But if you ever need any help, just let me know. Thank you, Nolan. Alright, I fucked up. <laughs> uh, so I thought maybe somebody else. So... Snow to Edward. So now I'm at the library, which the statue is not here. So I'm gonna get the fucking bad end. All right. All right. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go back and load, and so that we can go to this, um, go to the right one. But this is the library, and I have not played this uh, scenario before. I tried playing it, and it fucking sucked. I didn't know where I was going. I was getting killed. Because uh, any any uh, playthrough I've seen of this game, it's always been the house, not the library. So. I'm going to try to play through this game uh, the way that I've seen it, and then I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to play this scenario and put it side by side so that we can see uh, both of them together. But uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like uh, button, subscribe, leave us a comment, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.